Merhaba arkadaşlarım. So these are uh, this is another part of my shelf. This stack here is a bit messy because it's not an organized shelf. It's just like different books that are collectible or uh, part of a series or something like this, right? It's very very messy. So there's no coherent theme here. So I'll start with these. I collect these books a lot, the Root Ledge books, Root Ledge classics, because they're super aesthetic and they're usually good books to begin with with the exception of a few like fringe writers. Um, this one's Bertrand Russell's Human Ethics in Society. I oh, know Human Society Ethics and Politics. Uh, I don't know what it's about. Uh, Mortals and Others. I don't know what it's about. Again, this is just a book I bought because it's a rich classic. I'll read it at some point. Uh, the Conquest of Happiness. This is actually a good book. Um, conjectures, conjectures and Refutations. This is an interesting book, but I would recommend reading this book first. Uh, the Logic of Scientific Discovery by Karl Popper. Uh, the next one is Power by Russell. Uh, the Road to Serfdom by Hayek. Uh, Family and Individual Development by Winnicott. I don't know how to say his name. Um, this is a good like development psychology book. Sigmund Freud, Totem and Taboo. I think this is actually one of his better books. Uh, probably arguably not his best book, but definitely one of his better books. Uh, Suicide by uh, Durkheim. This is an interesting book. Uh, the Constitution of Liberty by Hayek. <coughs> uh, Capitalism, Socialism, and Democracy by Schumpeter. This is a very important book for anybody who's into economics. So that's that. Uh, now let's go here. Content and Consciousness by Daniel Dennett, another really important book. The Course of German History by G.P. A.J. Taylor. A.J. Taylor is a very famous historian. Uh, Popper, The Open Society and Its Enemies. That's volume two. This is volume one. Uh, this is volume two. It's the same book, just different volume. This one's about Hegel and Marx and Marxism and stuff like that. This one's about like Plato and uh, Platonic idealism and stuff like this. Uh, the Fear of Freedom by Fromm. Bertrand Russell, A History of Western Philosophy. This stack is getting out of control. Let's push this up here. It's still out of control. Whatever. Um, I'm grabbing from the wrong side. Okay, Seneca on the Shortness of Life. Seneca, Letters from a Stoic. Seneca, uh, A Life. This is just a biography of Seneca. Cicero, The Nature of the Gods. Cicero, The Defense Speeches. Cicero, The Republic and the Laws. Cicero on the Good Life. Uh, not a Cicero here. Cicero, Selected Works. I don't even think that's all of Cicero. I think I'm missing quite a bit, actually. Uh, Bertrand Russell, Principle of Mathematics. Not to be confused with Principa, or like the Introduction to Mathematical Philosophy. Uh, Sartre, Being a Nothingness. I will never read this book. No, that's not all. We have these books. Um, and these books. So I'll just do Gibson first. Or Gibbon. Is it Gibbon? Yeah. So this is just a, a series. I think this is three of the volumes. Here are the other three. Gibbon's um, Decline and Fall of Rome. It's a very famous series for like Roman history. Uh, Alchemy, an introduction to the symbolism and the psychology by uh, Mary Louise von Frenz. Goddess and Every Woman, Powerful Archetypes in Women's Lives. The Origins and Histories of Consciousness. Uh, Jung on Mythology, this is just uh, it's by Robert A. Siegel. It's a collection of different Jungian scholars about what Jung thought about mythology, interpreting Jung's work. Slavic Folklore, a handbook. Uh, the Complete Gods and Goddesses of Ancient Egypt. The Great Mother by Eric Neumann. Uh, it's the same guy who wrote the Origins and Histories of Consciousness. Man and His Symbols. Uh, North's Myths, Gods and the Vikings. 
Um, Joseph Campbell, Primitive Mythology, The Mass of God, Volume 1. Uh, the Hero with a Thousand Faces, also Joseph Campbell. Um, Joseph Campbell, The Masks of God, this is uh, Creative Mythology, yeah, Creative Mythology. Uh, Joseph Campbell, Occidental Mythology, The Masks of God series. And then lastly, Joseph Campbell, Oriental Mythology, The Masks of God. So that's like, just, I don't know, that's classic slash mythology uh, section in my library. Uh, the next one, I think, is biology, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, that's just some classic books and some mythology books. That being said, choose.